So before I scan, I'm going to make sure I can slow down. Oh. Oh. Good boy. Yes, come. So it's always a smart idea <laughs> before you ask your horse to canter, you do a few walk trot transitions. And once they're good, then you canter. Oh, there, very good. That was better. Yep. Uh -huh. I'm gonna prepare. Let him trot. Already speed up a bit. And good boy. Yep. <laughs> so you could see the long rope allows me to give drift if something like this happens. <laughs> Not a big deal. There we had a good transition to canter without jumping in the air. Good boy, huh? <laughs> You're for sure a little athletic pony. <laughs> you are. <laughs> good guy. Yes. So the first quality you want to look for when you work on cantering with your youngster is that your youngster does the transition with understanding. <laughs> And without jumping in the air. <laughs> Good boy, huh? Yeah, there's a licking too. Yeah, we're going to, con to do it again on the left. See if we can get a better response. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, let him trot. And, yep. Good. Whoop. Oh. Yep. Good boy. I like that response. Good boy. Yes. So what I did here was I let him canter, ask for trot, and right away ask canter again. And this is a little trick <laughs> you can use because the horse still has a forward momentum and oftentimes in the horse will just go really easily and smoothly again into the canter. And then you have a really nice transition you can reward a lot and tell the horse, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Huh? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs>